Hi everyone. Hello and welcome. Before we start this video, as always, if you are new to my channel or still not subscribed, please subscribe. It will help me a lot to keep creating educational content for you. This is HP Portland Gen 11 server. In this video tutorial, we will see complete deployment and installation of Windows Server 2022 through intelligent provisioning. Maybe you are familiar with smart array based controllers. This server has mega RAID controller. So the process will be little different unlike previous generations. You can configure and manage RAID from RBSU by pressing F9 system utilities. Press F10 for intelligent provisioning. HP Mega RAID is available on Gen 10 Plus servers. This controller offers 12 GPPS, Tri Mode SAS, SATA, PCI and VMI, Gen 4 support, with 16 and 8 internal ports to address the needs of the enterprise. For your information, SR or Smart RAID is the same chipset that has been used on HP previous controllers, and MR or Mega RAID is now Broadcom. Click on Perform Maintenance. Now you can see MR Storage Administrator and SR Storage Administrator. Both are available. But before firmware upgrade, only SR Storage Administrator was available. Anyhow, we will click on MRS Storage Administrator. Please wait. Loading MR Storage Administrator. Select the controller. We have four unconfigured drives. Click the plus mark and select all the physical drive and go for advanced configuration. In advanced configuration, now this time our target is to create RAID 10 array. We will select RAID 10 and click next. RAID 10 array require minimum 4 drives. Then you need to add the drives. I will assign all drives and create one logical drive which will give me 3.4 TB space and strip size is 64 kilobyte which is good for big database and huge files. Let's name the logical drive. I will name it RAID 10 and click on add logical drives and click finish. Completed successfully. One logical drive created with four physical drives with disk space 3.4 TB. Now soon after perform maintenance we need to go to rapid setup to continue further server installation. Please wait. Now we need to select the bootable device. I have bootable pen drive which is connected. Browse the file server 2022 evaluation. Click on connect. Preparing a recommended rate configuration and it find out there is a rate configuration already present. Click continue and rapid setup will prepare the rest of the configuration except a recommended array. Alternatively, you can select a manual configure rate from the rate setup dashboard. I will continue here. See our boot controller. We have RAID 10 array with 3.2 TB SAS SSD. OS and volume partitions you can also edit. I will just accept the configuration. Now it is launching automatic configuration. It generate a script waiting to be proceed. Fetching the server status server has booted it is now partitioning the drives formatting the partitions building EFI partition 
and copy drivers and generate scripts now it is copying required files copying multiple files please wait while rebooting system to complete deployment first reboot reboot process is fast forwarded for your convenience loading files now this is the moment it is installing all device drivers for nic card storage controller mega raid nvme vrock virtual raid on cpu hp ilo and initializing network now HP hand over the installation to Microsoft. I accept the agreement. Copying Microsoft server operating system files, getting files ready for installation, installing features, installing updates. Operating system needs to restart to continue. This is second restart. No need to press any key. getting devices ready another restart this is the third restart also no need to do anything all the installation is automated just keep watching no user intervention is required do the activation later just input the administrator password and setup will continue again final script cleanup the script was unable to terminate server manager so don't show this message again and close the server manager setup will continue fixing recovery partition fixing primary partition please wait while your system is updated system is updating in the background You are about to sign out. This will be final fourth reboot. Thanks to intelligent provisioning, just sit and relax. No need for any human intervention. No need to press any key during boot. And here we go, server installation is finished and it is ready to use. Let me inspect the hardware configuration. All device drivers are installed, ILO is installed, 
display driver is installed the basic model of the server comes with one cpu and 64 gb of ram so you can install another additional cpu with max 8 tb of ddr5 ram i have one cpu with 48 logical processors good for virtualization and 256 gb ram which can be upgraded later launch hp mr storage administrator some other components are still required to be installed separately like system management home page mega raid administrator you need to download and install separately to get ready for future raid array maintenance this is all for now time to sign off thank you so much for watching if you like my work and find video helpful in any way please appreciate it by subscribing the channel leave your feedback in the comment section and don't forget to click the bell icon to get instant notifications of my new video uploads. See you soon in the next video. For then, goodbye and have a nice day. Keep watching.